Hi and welcome to this new quick comparison. Today we are going to do one last comparison with the Quadral Breeze 2 because I'm going to send it back. Actually I thought that I might keep it, but it's simply not good enough for the price. The tuning quite messed it up, although it has quite some potential. But today, as the last speaker, I wanted to compare it against the small FIFA Hersen key. It fits inside of the Quadral six times almost, so it's much smaller, but they go for nearly the same price. So both are priced at around 400 to 450 dollars. Um, so yeah, they are actually quite equal, only that the FIFA of course is much more portable. Um, and yeah, today we are going to have a listen to both of them. And I can already tease it, um, I think that the FIFA is the much more, I don't know, impressive speaker for the price and of course also size, as the Quadral usually sounds a bit more covered and even the bass response is similar on both. So this, really, uh, this video will really show you how much Quadral simply messed it up in the tuning, although their speaker has so much potential. So now please put up your headphones as this is a binaural microphone recording and enjoy the comparison. Could you 
best to make me yours If I knew how all of this would turn out But nobody knew And now we go to you And now we go to you Baby, you Baby You don't have to
So now we are done and as you could hear from the comparison both were quite nice performing. Overall I can already take it away. I personally would definitely recommend the Fever. It is a bit smaller also it is a bit less expensive in some cases so sometimes you can find it even below $400 which makes it about $70 less expensive than the Quadral. Plus it's again a bit lighter and of course smaller and it simply sounded a bit more hi-fi. The treble was much better than on the Quadral despite not having any tweeters built in like the Quadral has. And also the tuning overall is much more hi-fi and not with this strange kind of upper bass and those I know drowning mid sometimes. But of course the Quadra also has some advantages uh, simply because of the I don't know, sheer size. It of course could outperform the FIFA on higher levels although it was unexpectedly soft compared to the FIFA. Sometimes the FIFA even was playing a bit louder but of course due to the size the FIFA had a bit of uh, compression going on. It was I don't know a bit more um, struggling with the heavy tracks um, than the Quadra. And of course the Quadral was able to keep more bass than the FIFA, but still very impressive for the FIFA for a speaker which is six times smaller than the Quadral to be as loud or even louder. Of course it cannot keep as much bass, but it was, I don't know, it was really close. And on normal levels, especially with late night activated, which are used in some cases here, the FIFA simply, I don't know, outperforms the Quadral because it has this nice, I don't know, a sparkling treble which has a lot of resolution and also those clear mids which, I don't know, simply make you think that you have a much bigger speaker in front of you or even the live singer or something and the Quadra simply cannot give this to you. But of course maybe um, you want, I don't know, something for your party or something or you want something stationary, then you should maybe go for the Quadra and you only want to listen loud because for normal levels just go with a fever or FIFA, not FIFA. Um, so yeah, I think this is it. Um, I hope you could hear it for yourself in my recordings. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Until then, have a great time and bye bye. Mm -hmm.